everybody, Dr. Brian Prax here, and today's topic is rheumatoid arthritis and how it can be related to peripheral neuropathy. So let's first talk about RA, rheumatoid arthritis. It's actually an autoimmune condition, meaning your immune system is attacking itself at a particular area in the body. For whatever reason, the, the immune system goes awry and it begins attacking our joints. Now it's really common in fingers, um, and it can happen in wrists, it can happen in the spine, it can happen in the feet as well. But the immune system is now attacking the body and that leads to arthritis. So that's gonna lead to your classic, some disfigurations over time, but pain is what we're really talking about. But the topic today is RA, induced neuropathy. And I just came across this article, this is WebMD. I'll make sure we leave the link here for you. But I didn't know this, but four to five out of 10 people with rheumatoid arthritis will eventually contract peripheral neuropathy. Now that might be neuropathies like uh, carpal tunnel syndrome or a similar thing down here in the ankle called tarsal tunnel syndrome where you're actually just the, the, the arthritis itself, the inflammation itself around these joints are gonna compress on the nerves and then you have a neuropathy on top of rheumatoid arthritis. So it's a, it's a real tough thing. Now, some of the risk factors for this neuropathy from uh, rheumatoid arthritis is, well, rheumatoid arthritis itself, but diabetes uh, is definitely a complicating factor. Alcohol, or especially alcoholism, that's like too much alcohol, which can lead to another deficiency, which is a um, vitamin deficiency. Alcohol, alcoholism can lead to B12 and B6 deficiencies. There are other vitamins, mostly in the B family, that can lead to peripheral neuropathy. So these would be complicating factors that, uh, if you have rheumatoid, can, can lead you toward peripheral neuropathy. Now, peripheral neuropathy, most of you would know, that would be the burning or tingling, sometimes numbness. It can also affect our uh, motor functions, which means weakness. Um, it can lead to lack of coordination and even balance issues. Now the next topic, I thought, I thought WebMD does a pretty good job at this, so I'm just going to back away and let you see this, and I'll critique it as well. But let me show you uh, what WebMD is saying. Hopefully you can see that right there. So, so what are the treatments? What do they suggest treatments for RA neuropathy? And number one, they say medications. And uh, we hear that a lot, things like gabapentin, Lyrica, uh, Cymbalta, that's why they're saying the anti-seizure drugs, um, they found those to be helpful with the symptoms. But again, that's only kind of tap dancing with the problem. It, it's not really affecting the problem at all. It's, it's only really addressing or sort of managing or masking, that's a better way, masking the symptoms. It's not really going to fix it, but that might help get you through the night until you can really get this solved. The second thing they say I like, and that's physical therapy, and that's physical therapy which will improve your strength, your balance, coordination, um, movements. I like that, I like that, because that's really getting to the root cause of it, and we know that, that uh, rheumatoid is an autoimmunity, but it's also an inflammatory condition, so movement and helping you to move better will help reduce the inflammation. I like that because it's going to really kind of drive toward the cause of the underlying problem, the immune system. The next one they talk about is occupational therapies. That's gonna give you skills to do some day-to-day -day activities. Again, that's kind of compensating or working around it. I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's not harmful and it kind of helps you to, um, you know, modify your, the way you do things. So that, that's, that's a good suggestion. Now, sometimes from, from case to case, uh, based on uh, what's going on, yeah, maybe we might need a carpal tunnel surgery, a tarsal tunnel surgery. Let's try and leave that till the very end, the last ditch effort. You've tried all these other things, but yeah, sometimes a surgery is a last ditch effort might be a viable solution. Um, a TENS unit, which is also known as a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, that's kind of like an electronic Tylenol or electronic gabapentin. Um, it's a safer way, in my opinion. It doesn't hurt the liver. It's not harming the kidneys. Um, and it kind of sort of uh, uh, garbles the messages, the pain messages from the area that you're feeling it up to the brain. So it's sort of like a scrambling thing. Um, helps to treat the symptoms. I don't have a problem with that, but it's it, no, no, that that's not going to fix it. Now, I highlighted this one because that's really the root cause. 
And a lot of my videos will talk about if you're going to reverse your neuropathy, whether it's from RA or, or whatever the thing is, we need to go to the root cause of it. So if you have diabetes and that's what's causing your neuropathy, go after the diabetes, okay? And that's what's going to help to at least begin to stop it, if not reverse it. But remember, RA is an autoimmunity. So any therapies aimed at, at uh, reducing the autoimmune disease itself. Now, usually at WebMD and medical offices, they'll talk about um, steroids and, and uh, you know, any anti-inflammatories and things like that. But again, that's, that's just really treating the symptom. The best way, and just look at some of my other videos, but the best way is to get on an anti-inflammatory diet. Okay, you really want to do inflammatory foods, which is really, really going to be like adding gasoline to a fire. Okay, so anti-inflammatory diets uh, are a great way as, as much and, and as, as best exercise as you possibly can. And then it's also recommending complementary treatments. I like acupuncture, massage, uh, supplements, fish oil, definitely a good idea. Um, turmeric is another good one. You might even try chiropractic care. Um, I love yoga as another gentle way of doing things like that. So there's a lot of things that can do. Um, it's amazing to know that almost half of all RA or rheumatoid arthritis patients can end up getting peripheral neuropathy. So sort of an eye opener. If you're watching this and you want more help, just reach out or just start searching in my uh, YouTube. We got, we got videos on an anti-inflammatory approach. So start digging into those. I'll make sure I leave this link and uh, I hope this helps. You have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, I would ask you to hit the thumbs up button to like it. You can share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and please comment below. I will read it and I will respond. Thank you and have a nice day.